Hello Virgo, hope you're all doing well. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes. This is a weekly reading here. Hopefully it resonates with you. The Eight of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles. And the beautiful Nine of Pentacles. Now there's brand new opportunities here for stability. There's good news coming in. Now this could be windfalls, it could be inheritances, it could be the opportunity to invest in buying a house in another town. This could be emails, texts, or it can be travel, journey of any kind, and it's going to come out the blue. So there's a new opportunity here for you to invest finances or develop skills. There could be windfalls, like I say, and um, lottery wins here as well that could help you move forward towards great stability. But you're going to take this opportunity and you're going to be coming into this beautiful, confident Nine of Pentacles energy. Now, she's somebody who knows how to create beautiful balance and harmony in her life. Now, it can be the singles card uh, for some people, uh, but it's it's being independent. It's about your independence. So there's going to be an opportunity here to maybe buy a house. Uh, it could be that you're growing your pentacles, you're working hard on things, and it produces new opportunities for promotion, all that type of thing. It could be you leaving home and buying a house. It could be you moving to another country, like I say, travel. It could even be you deciding to go on holiday on your own for the first time. But lots of different things here. But whatever you're planning on doing, uh, the opportunities are going to come in. The good news is going to come in to support you with your choices here, and you're going to create beautiful things here. Beautiful balance, but your confidence is high, your self-esteem is high. So this is good news uh, on the horizon. Um, so we'll just clarify these cards, please, Spirit. This is beautiful. Two of Wands. The Five of Cups. And the beautiful Empress. This is coming out a lot, this. Now, this is about choosing your path. Now, you can see he's got the world in his hand there. The world's your oyster here. There's new opportunities to, to go forward here to brand new stability in your life. And this could have happened after a disappointing time. Now, fives are changed. So this is upset. It's regret. It could be looking at the past. It's crying over spilt milk. We can't change the past. There's no point focusing on what's spilt here because we can't refill the cups. So this really is about coming into the present and looking at your blessings. Twos are choices. You've got an inkling about which path you want to go down. So make your decision. Go down your path because there's a lot of growth to come from it. And you'll come into this beautiful Nine of Pentacles energy. And I say it, it's great balance. When people look at this this Nine of Pentacles, this uh, last year, I'm saying last, not Agenda Pacific reading, what they're seeing is somebody who is able to create great stability in their life. So you're looking very stable here. And when you look very stable, you attract a lot of opportunities that will come your way because people see that, they feel the energies around you. And this is about rebirth and rejuvenation. Now, this can also be about pregnancies for some people. You could get news as well, uh, you know, that you're pregnant. But this really is about creating, she's a young empress, and you will go on through this decision and this choice you're making, you will go on to create beautiful harmony in every area of your life. So rebirth, new opportunities for stability here. We need to let the past go. What's done is done, and we can't change it. Meditate meditate reconnect with your inner spirit walk practice yoga meditate or listen to music and this is about grounding yourself it's about being at peace with yourself it's about connecting in with yourself and getting over this will help you get over the disappointments that have been i hope this helps bye bye